Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're doing a general oracle card guidance for the week ahead or for the time that you that you have uh, ahead of you or for any question that you may have, anything that's bothering you. It's just weekly oracle guidance and we're using the Madame Medora's fortune card. So um, that's uh, what the box looks like here. And um, yeah, we're using these cards. I haven't used them for these readings in a while. And I just felt like today would be uh, the right day to use them. We have three options. As usually, we have one, two, and three. Please make your selection. You can go down to the description box below and you'll find the timestamp for your reading. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and begin. So I'll just put that out of the way. And for those of you who've chosen this option here, the option number one, we ask you the question, what is it that you need to know for today? What is it that you need to know? What is your guidance for this week? Oops, my card has flipped off. And it is a flipped out, I mean, that's flipped off. <laughs> For those of you who've chosen the first option here, we have the Hand of Fate, and the card reads, Forces Beyond Your Control Intervene. So we are on the precipice of a full moon. Uh, this this, uh, this will be tomorrow. Um, and there's very much going on right now which is unexpected, which you are not planning, and which may go in a different direction. And this is uh, the universe basically telling you that you not, do not need to be rigid. You do not need to be upset if your plans do not go according to exactly how you plan them. Everything is working out in the way in which it needs to work out right now. There is a reason that things are going along in the way it's going along. There's a reason that there are delays. There is a reason that there are distractions. These things need to play out. And the way I feel it is that there's a rush towards this full moon uh, for uh, things to finish and for things to come to an end. And a lot of things are gonna happen during this time that's going to consolidate itself. A lot of things that needed to happen uh, that may have been, you know, things that are sort of not exactly destined, but things that need to happen in the world are going to kind of find a way to happen before or during this week, uh, before the full moon or in the energy of this full moon. And this is actually the hand of fate, right? So what it's saying is that there's nothing that you can do about this. No matter how hard you try to get there on time, you will still be late. No matter how hard you try to get this application out on the in, um, within the deadline, you will not be able to. It's And you do not need to be concerned about it. It is happening in this way because it's meant to happen in this way. There's a reason for that. It needs to happen in this way and that you need to trust this. And this, this card is really about trusting that. Uh, trusting that, you know, if the police stops you and wants to search your car, that it's actually, it's okay. It's okay because the delay is meant to be. And uh, that the universe has your back right now, even if you do not think it has your back, even if it if it actually seems like it's, um, you know, it's working against you because you've promised to do something at a specific time, but then you cannot keep your promise as a result of, uh, of uh, yeah, as you, you cannot keep your promise because you are, you know, you are late or you, you cannot do it because something else come, has come up in the way. Well, it's just saying it's okay. You don't need to worry. It's really okay. You don't need to feel guilty. You don't need to feel sad. You don't need to feel disappointed. Uh, just go with the flow and enjoy it because there's something beautiful in this. There's something, if you can just be in this moment and if you can just enjoy it, then you will realize and you will feel the hand of fate and you will understand that it's actually something that's meant to be exactly the way it is. Um, there's perfect design in the way this plays out. Even if it does not occur, occur to you or it does not seem that way to you, you do, not, you do not experience it in this way. It is still perfect design, okay? For those of you who are also uh, accessing this, not during the time that I've uploaded it, but much later at another point in time, if you're just drawn to it and you feel this way, um, obviously then it doesn't have anything to do with this specific full moon, but uh, the question um, is still, your question is still answered by the, the answer that I've given. That is, just trust this process, 
the delays are or the distractions are meant to be at this moment and it has to happen in this way allow it to be and uh, go with the flow um this is it's necessary that this happens in this way all right so uh, that is your reading uh, for today. It's, it's a very basic, simple reading, but I feel that there's nothing more to this. It's, uh, it is literally that forces beyond your control intervene. And there's, I'm not getting like another message beyond that. There's, it's just literally, that's what it is. Trust, this is the hand of fate. It stood up, it's before you. It's not actually allowing you to have your way or how you've planned it. And uh, that's also okay. All right, just go with the flow. Uh, don't try to be too rigid or don't try to stick too much to your plan. Be fluid in the way in which you're going about this. And that is your advice uh, for this time. All right, so thank you very much for those of you who've chosen the option number one here. And I wish you a fabulous week ahead and many blessings from uh, Kismet Rising. Okay, so we move on to the next one. Uh, for those of you who've chosen this uh, stone here, I'm just going to give the cards a bit of a shuffle. Oops, there's another card that's flown out here. Um, it is a Chimera. Okay, so the, the caption reads, Imagination clouds your judgment. And the card is the Chimera. Okay, so with this card here, for those of you who've chosen the second stone and um, in the second option, the card we have here is basically talking to us about having a force with which we are heading uh, going forward, having a direction in which we are plunging ahead, uh, where you've planned it out meticulously, where you know exactly how you're going out and going through with a certain robust uh, feeling and determination. There's nothing that, that can stop you. Um, but then you actually find that things are not as they seem. And this card here cautions you to actually uh, get in touch with the reality of the situation. Be more practical be more realistic, take into account the other reality. You have a particular version of how you'd like things to be, but that is not how it is. In fact, the reality is a very different reality. And your visualization or your idea, or what you're seeing in your mind, and what you're hoping would be and what you're feeling, what you're desiring, is actually, um, it cannot be in the way in which you think it can be, all right? It's not gonna play out in that way. You need to take a step back and look at the reality of the situation and actually um, adapt your vision to the reality of the situation. So you need to integrate the reality of the situation into your dreams. Um, you know, if you see yourself, uh, this is just a, a really a strange example I'm going to give you, but I think it'll help you to understand. I hope it does. Basically, if you see yourself floating, all right, and you see yourself floating around from one appointment to the next. You base, you have not integrated gravity into your into your um, fantasy or into your imagination or into what you desire. You simply uh, you you have not uh, indi indicated to your fantasy or to your imagination that this is exact. This is what you need, and taken into account the the reality of the situation, the measures. Of the the limitations of the of the of the earth and and how we live, and um, this is something that you need to take into account. You know, it might actually uh, play out for you in a very practical way. It might be that you um, you you underestimate the weather. It's much colder or much hotter than you thought it would be, or it's something like uh, you underestimate the situation itself. You know, uh, in a love situation, it might be that you. You imagine things to be a certain way, but it, in fact, what it's saying to you is that that imagination is just a concoction of your own mind. It's not something, it's not a reality. It's not the way the other person seeing the situation. In fact, the way in which the other person seeing the situation is completely different. And this is not to say that you cannot still have something. You still cannot 
um, have an interaction with each other. But the way in which it's going to play out, it has nothing to do with what you uh, are imagining. And the way in which you might be looking at the situation, whether it's in love or whether it's with regard to relationships with other people, is that you're seeing it from your perspective and understanding it from how you actually desire to be. But in fact, um, others don't have that perspective and others don't understand you in this way. And so it's kind of leaving you a bit out, um, a bit excluded from this because they have a reality which is different from yours or this one person has a reality that's different from yours. And uh, as long as you are not able to understand that or bridge that gap to their reality, you're going to feel excluded or going to feel shut out from the situation. And so this card tells you that when you go ahead with this force, when you forge ahead and uh, you know what you want and you, you, you're putting all your energy behind it, just take into account also the reality, the limits, the measure of the situation, because it might not be uh, exactly as you imagine it to be. And in fact, this card is almost saying it's guaranteed not to be exactly how you imagine it to be. It's guaranteed to be different. It's not going to be necessarily bad. In fact, I don't get any bad vibes at all from this. It's just going to be different. And if you can be open to accepting that and understanding that there's another perspective involved here and that um, there is another situation, the reality is actually quite different from what you perceive uh, then, or what you think you have perceived, or what you what you understand as it is right now, if you can open your mind to actually incorporate another reality into it, then you will understand that uh, that it's not just about forging ahead and and getting what you want at all costs, but actually taking into account all that is involved in, in other perspectives and and forging a bridge and. Uh, and actually relating in a, in, a, in a different way, in a way that's more conducive to peace and harmony. And uh, and it's it's slowing down a bit, you know. Um, it The feeling I get from this card is that you're in a hurry to actually get what you want. And the feeling that I'm getting here is that you just need to slow down and, and take it one step at a time for what it is. And then you will actually get what you want, but it will be a bit different. And you don't actually, right now, you know, how you perceive the situation is actually to your to your detriment. And um, I'm feeling like this is very much to do with love situations. Like, I feel like for many of you, this has like 70% of you or so, this is to do with love. And then with the rest of you, it has to do with very mundane matters, like things like the temperature or things like um, expecting that your vehicle is going to go a certain way or your bus is going to go a certain way, or your transport or whatever, and then it, it doesn't and, and that uh, that you understood it to be that, but in fact the reality was something else. And when you look closely at it, you'll see that it's the factual reality is different from what you perceive, okay? So uh, you might think that, that the bus is going to leave at 13.25, but it actually is written on the bus timetable that's going to leave at 1335 or 1315 or something. And th those are just examples, okay? So uh, it's something that, um, yeah, it's got that kind of nature to it, all right? So for some of you, and for others, it's really about love. And for some of you, of course, it might be something else, but the same message applies. So I hope that's been helpful, and I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead or the time ahead, and many blessings from Kismet Rising. Okay. So, um, moving on to uh, those of you who've chosen the third stone that is here, okay, we are asking the same question as the others. What is it that we need to know for this week? What is it that you need to know at this moment? Okay, we have the Sphinx. The Sphinx kind of, the other cards just kind of popped out, but this felt like it flew into my hand. So we're going with it, it feels right. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, the card we have is the Sphinx, okay? And the caption reads, choose your words carefully, okay? So here I'm feeling that this is a situation where it, it almost feels to me that you feel that you know exactly what's going on here 
And uh, it, it feels to me, it kind of resonates with the second message that we've just had. There's this, the thing that resonates is that there's this knowingness that you have. There's this trust, there's this absolute trust that you have in your judgment, okay? Or um, in what you understand the situation to be. And that is actually not going to be the case, okay? And this is going to lead you into some difficulties. So it's asking you not to not trust but to reevaluate your consideration, reevaluate what you actually uh, expect this to be, reevaluate all that you um, you are, are dealing with at this moment. And if it's one specific thing in which you're feeling like you have this kind of gusto, you have this kind of absolute um, authority or feeling of authority over it, like you absolutely know what's right in the situation and you believe that it's so and that you know the other person or the other no nobody else knows the answer to this just you know the answer to this and you're quite feeling there's this feeling of stubbornness there's this feeling of standing your ground and saying okay you know i know what's right here and this is the situation well the thing is that there's two aspects to this it might be that you are right and it might be that this is true but it also might be that your judgment is clouded here and that you don't actually know what really is true and you're not seeing an aspect of it that's hidden, that's um, it's almost hidden in the shadows. And that has to do with people's feelings and it has to do with how you will be perceived. And um, you might be very, uh, quite, you might be quite um, certain about what it is that you believe, but imply, implying that uh, or putting it across to another may actually be misinterpreted. And therefore, the words here uh, that are choose your words carefully, it's actually stating that quite literally. It's it's saying, well, really be careful of how you present yourself or how you present your uh, passion or your gusto that you have uh, towards the situation, your absolute um, certainty, certainty that you have around the situation. Be cognizant of how you portray that to others. So this is a feeling, the sphinx, you know, this feeling that you might have or or you might have inside of you that's very strong. But you, you don't need to necessarily change that. What, what they're saying is that the way in which you present it to the world needs to be a little um, different. It needs to be cognizant of of how other the others other person's reality and when you're in this position it's very hard for you to see another person's reality because you have quite a you're quite passionate about what you feel and you're quite absolute about what you what you feel or what you think what you believe and so it, it's very hard to incorporate another's reality into this but um if you are able to or even if you're not able to right well if you are able to you can actually uh, you can actually see that the situation is slightly different and that you need to uh, behave differently or respond differently within the situation. And if you don't do, if you're not able to see that and you just can't, you don't have to, okay? You don't need to uh, lessen your force or your determination or your power in the situation. Uh, but it is necessary for you to... Um, to kind of bring in a generosity in, in the way in which you speak to others or the way in which you present yourself to others. Try to leave a bit more room for interpretation, for another's interpretation, and not just your own uh, interpretation of what's going on here. Um, and in doing so, yeah, or in, to be able to do so, choose your words carefully, choose your, your behavior uh, carefully, your body language um, the way in which you present yourself to the situation needs to be considered, okay? It needs to be taken into account and really, um, like you might have this force growing and firing up inside of you, but the way in which you present yourself to the others, your exterior needs to be calm and considered, all right? So uh, that is your advice for this week. It's kind of uh, strange and it, it links, the third option links in with the second option as well, although they have slightly different meanings. And um, we will see uh, what, what comes from this. Yeah, if Let me know how this card plays out for you in this week. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I think there's another way in which this can play out as well 
it's actually to just allow people to to walk their paths and to allow like you might have an idea this is just an example by the way so this might not apply to all of you but uh you you might have an idea of how things are best for others or how they should go about doing things but the guidance here is suggesting that you keep that to yourself and you actually uh word your 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 guidance or your advice carefully so that uh those those that you're dealing with can actually still have the option of choosing their own path and their their path is or or what they should choose is not actually um, clouded by your by your perception or what or your perception of what is right or what is better for them so in this example the, the folks that you're dealing with the people that you're dealing with need to actually figure this out for themselves they need not take in your all of what your uh, perception is as the absolute authority on the matter you can you might be the authority on this matter as far as you're concerned but they have to uh work out their own perspective and uh, you know develop their own authority in this matter and in uh, and in you you need to be able to give them the space to do so and that that is why you need to choose your words carefully so i hope that you understand that oh, i've been clear enough and um I, I let me know how it resonates with you i'm kind of curious and i'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead and blessings abound to all of you take good care